Hi all! Today I would like to demo our new sensitivity classification auto tagging. It's a way that allows you to make sure your catalog is always tagged with the most updated sensitivity levels. It can be high, medium, or low, but you can always define different sensitivity groups such as priority, risk, etc. I'll show our new dashboard that allows you to report about it, how it looks in, on the catalog, and a whole, also how to define and apply new levels and tags. On another demo, I'll show how you can define policies out of our new sensitivity tags, how you can trigger remediation workflow, action center, and also our Microsoft Information Protection labeling. So let's start the demo. Hello everyone, this is a five minutes overview of our new sensitivity classification tagging capability. I would like to share with you today how Big ID can automate that capability in order to leverage our dashboard for uh, security reporting, our action center, remediation, and also MIP labeling. So first of all, I would like to show you the final outcome of using sensitivity classification in Big ID. You could see a dashboard that I just added using our add new dashboard and chose our uh, security dashboard. I'll drill down to, to the, this dashboard and you could see that we added two new widgets. First widget that show you how many of uh, the findings in the catalog were tagged as sensitive and how many of them are undefined using our sensitivity uh, classification capability. So by that, you could see if there are any gaps in your definition of sensitivity levels in Big ID. You could also see that within those classified uh, findings that were classified sensitive, uh, the levels of uh, sensitivity within it. You could see uh, how many of them were uh, classified as high, how many of them as medium, and how many of them classified as, as, as sensitive low. If you would like to drill down into uh, the distribution, either of the, of the catalog classified or unclassified, or uh, the sensitivity levels within the catalog, you can quickly go to the catalog. In the catalog itself, you could drill down and understand how many objects were tagged with different sensitivity levels. So for example, under tags, you could see here that I created a new sensitivity tag for priority, P1, P2, and P3. I, am, I can drill down into P1 and see what objects got tag automatically of, of uh, P1. Same tag got sensitivity high. I would like to show you how you configure it. We have a new section for sensitivity classification. You could see here different cl classification groups that were created. The first one is an out-of-the-box classification uh, group. So here you could see that Big ID built for you rules of how you define high, medium, and low sensitivity. Um, you could see here that we injected input query, but as a user, you can always define your own level and your own query, either using our query builder or the input query. I'll show you an example of something that I created beforehand. Uh, for example, definition of risk. I added here different levels, extreme, critical, high, medium, and low. And uh, I once I took an input query here and uh, defined uh, this extreme by def def definition of those uh, attributes. And second, I used, uh, you could see here, for example, our query builder. Query builder allows you to choose uh, specific attributes, choose whether it's an AND or, or OR between them, add new groups uh, uh, to define uh, the relationship between them, etc. cetera. Uh, every query builder can become a, a query input. So it's for you to decide what fits for you the best. When you use input query, it allows you further granularity. So everything that is, uh, can be used as a query within Big ID, uh, for example, those that are used in, uh, in policies can be used also here. So how you apply it? It's easy. You actually press here and it will label all the objects in your catalog with consideration of uh, either it's high, medium, and low, taking under uh, consideration the um, rules that you've defined. So that's it. Uh, Big ID soon will have it triggered also automatically, uh, event-based triggering. So every end of a scan will have 
sensitivity classification triggered automatically across all the classification groups. So your catalog will al always stay up to date with the corresponding uh, tagging of, uh, of sensitivity um, across the product. Uh, so you can either um, trigger in a policy uh, using it. You can also trigger an action in the action center. You could see here an example, and you could also propagate it to our mediation application. So you could define workflows. Another thing that you could do, so you could see here, I defined a policy and this policy of sensitivity high or priority one was propagated to the remediation and you can use it. And you can also uh, configure it as an MIP label that will be propagated to the files using our new SDK. I used here say saved queries and defined that catalog tag sensitivity default high would mean in MIP highly sensitive and the files will be um, labeled accordingly. So that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.